They say you first eat with your eyes, but did you know that you also technically eat with your nose? Well, this week's holiday themed Science Sunday segment is an experiment in how our sense of smell actually affects what we're tasting. Check it out. All right, so today we're going to um, talk about a science experiment that you can do with some Christmas candy, um, or you can raid the pantry for some chocolate chips if you've maybe enjoyed all of your candy already. Um, but what we're going to do is uh, do a little experiment to see what, um, how our sense of smell actually impacts what we're tasting. Um, and so for the sake of science, you can, um, you know, get some permission to maybe uh, bust out some Christmas candy or maybe get some chocolate chips out of the cupboard if um, you want to do this like right away. Um, but when we're tasting something, a lot of us know that we have different taste buds on our tongue and they are responsible for giving our brain a signal on whether something is salty or sweet or savory. And so those really um, play a big factor in whether we're enjoying the food and how we think the food tastes. But one thing people don't realize is that our sense of smell actually also plays a really big role in how you're tasting something and how much you're tasting. So the way your taste works is there are, like I said, those taste buds in your tongue and they're connected to signals that go to your brain. So these neurons send a signal to your brain and your brain decides and gives you um, a picture kind of of what you're tasting and whether you like it. And so to test and see how much is related of our taste is related to our taste buds and then maybe some other things like when you're seeing a food, like if I hold this up, a lot of people are gonna go, ooh, that I'm hungry. You hear people say things like that because our, our eyes are giving our brain signals, um, smells are giving our brain signals, and those taste buds, of course, are giving our brain signals. So we're gonna do a quick little experiment for the sake of science. Um, and the way this works is we're gonna um, have a control, which is going to be to block our sense of smell first. So if you just take one little chocolate candy and we're gonna plug our nose first and then you put the candy in your mouth without chewing because we want to just let those flavors kind of roll across our tongues so the taste buds can um, try and see what they think that taste is. Our, our eyes have already given our brain a little bit of a clue so based on your prior experience maybe with some chocolate candies your brain might start predicting what it's going to taste like. So our eyes have given a clue and then we're going to put it on our tongue so those can send a message to the brain. And then after about 20 seconds, if you can just let it sit there without chewing, we're going to unplug our nose and see if that creates any difference in taste. And I don't want to spoil it for anybody, um, so I'm not going to tell you what the answer is, but it's a really fun demo, so I'm going to show you how it works. And then um, if you do this with anybody, um, it's fun to kind of describe what you're tasting or how the taste changes. So it's kind of fun to do it with a couple of people. Um, and you can try different things like maybe trying to blindfold yourself or um, some different uh, variations. So if you've got plenty of Christmas candy to experiment with, um, there's some fun variations. So here's the demonstration. So you're gonna plug your nose, And then unplug, let it sit a little bit longer and see how that um, changes your perception. And then you can enjoy the candy a little bit more and get rid of it. Um, so it's a fun demonstration. It really goes to show that our sense of smell, the taste buds and our eyes are actually all creating this cohesive message that our brain is interpreting about what we're tasting and how much we're tasting it and whether it's sweet or salty and things like that. So, like I said, you could also do it with some little chocolate chips. Um, I think it'd be a fun um, variation if you had maybe some Reese's Pieces and some M&Ms, which look very similar. Um, the colors are a little bit different. Mix them up in a bowl and just kind of blindly pick them out one at a time and see if your brain is confused because it thinks you're maybe tasting one thing but in reality, you might be tasting another thing. So some fun variations that you could do um, to experiment, all for the sake of science, um, on um, with your chocolate candies that you um, receive around Christmas time.